Any attempt to separate cars from headers will not be possible, Aliru speaks. Senator Damo Aliru, representing KB Central, has emphasized that headers and the animals are inseparable, making it impractical to separate them. In an interview with Arise News, Aliru stressed that ranching is best left to private individuals rather than the federal or state government. He argued that even in advanced countries, cattle are not left to roam freely and that ranching is a more modern and efficient way of raising livestock. However, he also emphasized that any attempt to restrict the movement of herders and their animals would be unrealistic and potentially harmful. In his words, and I spoke, herders, and I quote rather, herders, pastoralists always go with their merchandise. The animals, you cannot separate them. Any attempt to separate them will not be possible. It is not the responsibility of the federal government to establish ranching. It is left to either the state government or private individuals. Even the state governments are not in position to do it. It is better handled by individuals. This happens in advanced countries. Cows do not move from one place to another. It is considered a cake. Nobody will disagree with ranching but will disagree with restrictions on movement. What is this man trying to see? Why is he speaking from both sides of his mouth? Ha! Huh. Mr. Senator, you are wrong. Cow can no longer move around. See, when people say that you cannot restrict, you can, uh, why are they restricting uh, the beast movement? They are moving around because their cows are moving around. If their cows are staying in one place, maybe they will be at one place. So coming out to say, first of all, you see that super story that they say they, it is not a chemical. It is not worthy chemical. No, 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 no. That is not the case. My own is that this so-called thing, now we they call it, I don't know if you separate them. They join them together. Are they bonded by their soul? Because I need to understand. Mr. Senator, you are wrong. Cow can no longer move around anyhow in Nigeria for security reasons. Another one is a reason for crop destruction. Which leader, which leads, which led to food shortage in Nigeria? We can carry Nigeria back to the old Indies. Those land, they are, they are grazing, belong to people. How much did the header pay them before grading their field? Mr. Senator, don't you travel to other people's country and see how they handle the house? My friend, stop talking like a cow. Ah. He said he stopped at the reason like a cow. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -mm. Senator Larry needs some form of tutelage or ranting. No one will ranch his head without the headers in charge of a ranch. Exactly. They are still going to be the ones in charge there. They are cattle winners in the south. They have to ranch the cows too. It is not to visualize ranching, please. The herders should stop entering into farms and destroying land, farmlands across the country. I see if agricultural activities are not businesses to be protected by the federal government. All business matters and must be given needed environment to strive. I can see that some of our so-called leaders are not informed about a lot of things. Or they're just pretending not to be formed. Because Senator Ranching, the headers, lives with the herd. I cannot understand this man. He said ranching is the modern way of rearing cows. In other breath, he said headers should not be confined into one place and should be allowed to roam about. This man is confused. She understands. The Senate must show to Nigerians that we are well educated and informed beyond those primitive tribal sentiment. Or rather, they must form a committee for ranching and send them for research. Ranching and send them for research. Today, those countries practicing advanced ranching with far greater population of cattle. The lives of Nigerian agricultural boom, food availability must be taken more seriously than cows. I have seen villages where rearing of freelance goods was prohibited because their constructive nature against backyard farms. If it comes to the worst and a senator and his people do not accept ranching, rearing of cows can be prohibited in Nigeria for peace to reign. Let them be the true. Okay, let them be that. Let there be true federalism with autonomous states with states that suit the people. Desert land have been turned to booming Greenland by Israel, Dubai, and Qatar. There are big and better lands to the north that can be converted to Greenland for cattle. Alira, I haven't seen Buhari traveling to the UK with his cattle. If Fulanese cannot be separated from the merchandise, until you go, until you do so, go to Saudi Arabia and Dubai, then I'll believe your foolishness. 
I don't know nobody separating you from your account. You go to your region sleep and dine with your head at Siniki 47. That is your personal problem and not Nigeria as a whole. All right. I don't know nobody separating you from your cows. Go to your region and sleep and dine with your headers. We take you for the seven rifle. That is a personal problem and not Nigeria as a whole. I be nobody say we can't be tackle your problem. If the herdsmen and their council is inseparable, they should go to their states of origin and remain united with their cattle. And to my opinion, these guys are not looking for ranching. They are indirectly looking for military base throughout Nigeria after a careful study historically. Please, if I order 50 live cows from a ranch on our line, you dispatching them their rail or trucks that accompany goods with a header. Yes, now. What is it they're saying they need to roam about? Roam about what? You sound like testing constitution. Oba Sanja couldn't stop Sharia in Zamfara State. People insisted it was your right. They spent the deaths in Kaduna and sovereignty of a Nigerian constitution. You might have to carry your cows on your head if you see state ranching and separating with you to cows. The security apparatus will have to knock some of his cow finances down before it is too late. Nigeria belongs to all and cows, Aryan citizens, and back cannot be. But they are using it to destroy farmers with AK 47. Nobody goes to the farm again because of these criminals. Does it mean leaders from a not reason like cows? How can you separate cows from herders? Foolish people and strand logic on the head just to justify open grazing. The Senate president have told the people that cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Or are you are you the one arguing with me? All right. Some people are just so unreasonable. Separate which cow from who? Are those headers the owners of those cows? All those people defending the headers are the real owners of the cows, subjecting the poor masses to abject poverty and harsh conditions because they have no choice, simply because they are tools. Yes, so if you ask me, this is not the first time I go here and say these people now they don't really really get cows. So we just they here they deceive ourselves. Is anybody separating them? As as a matter of fact, are they married to the cows? Why are they separate? Why are these noise for God's sake? We need to separate them. Let the hands live at these ranches with their cows. Period. Adama Lebre is not talking realistically. He's talking like a novice. His argument is not constructive, but he merely wants to be heard. Nobody's interested in restricting anyone, but animals and cows must be restricted. It is an individual business. Explore and your header must take charge and abide by the government rules and regulation. The animals must be kept in the ranch, fed and cared for without the government spending a dime of public funds on it. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning into the lesson. Until I come here next time.